The marine industry is lobbying the government to allow international boaties stranded in the Pacific into New Zealand waters. With cyclone season approaching, hundreds of foreign boaties have applied for exemptions to shelter here, but with border restrictions in place, most are being turned away. Helen Castles has more. These boat owners grateful to have a berth at Opoa in the Bay of Islands, with more than 300 others trying to get in. As the borders closed in the, towards the end of March, yachts ended up throughout the South Pacific in what we would call COVID limbo. Sailors have been lobbying for fellow boaties stuck in foreign waters to be allowed into the country before cyclone season hits. They live on their boats, it's their home. In many cases they've got the children with them and they've got no options. I did apply for an exemption to go to New Zealand. I've been refused. I'm on my way to Australia very shortly. But there are hundreds of other boats that don't have that luck. They're not Kiwis or Aussies. He also applied for exemptions from the Ministry of Health for 350 yachts in the Pacific. All were declined. The Ministry says a vessel may be exempt for compelling humanitarian reasons, but they would be unlikely to include wintering over to avoid cyclone season in the Pacific. So far, only 11 vessels have been granted an exemption. The financial arm for the Far North District Council says the government should be more flexible. So the international cruisers have been coming to New Zealand for decades, bringing economic um, benefit to our regions, particularly in the maritime sector, and I think they're a viable opportunity for the government to, to allow exemptions in. Around 600 boats are cleared in New Zealand waters every year and 70% of those are international. 475 of those boats are cleared right here in Orpoa, with each of them spending an average of $50,000 a visit. But now local businesses are missing out. We just can't get our heads around why they're not letting the cruising boats in, to be honest. There's 400 boats, it's a hell of a lot of boats and a hell of a lot of money. Far North Holdings says isolation requirements aren't difficult. So the procedures we'd like to see in place are, are that they travel and isolate for their full 14 days. We have a testing station established here at the marina so they can um, undertake negative tests before they depart. But at this stage, the government's not budging. Helen Castles, One News.